Where are we going? Apparently this is a road. <laughs> I'm not, what do you reckon, love? We're about to find out. We thought we would do a quick bit of research on Bulgaria because that wasn't one of the countries that we had originally planned to go to. So we'd done no research whatsoever. And we were pleased we did because um, you need a vignette um, to drive on the main roads and motorways in Bulgaria. So we've just purchased it online and uh, for one week it was £6.60 for a three and a half ton vehicle or under. Um, another good thing we found out is that our insurance from the UK covers us in Bulgaria so we don't need to buy an additional green card when we cross the border. So we're all good to go, let's go to Bulgaria. It's looking a little bit menacing up ahead. This fog is crazy. It's very hard to see the car in front and we're going like 20, 15, 20 miles an hour. In fact, it's a good job the car is in front because it gives us something to focus on. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the border, even though you can't see it. <laughs> so, uh, camera's off. Okay, we are officially in Bulgaria, country number 29 since starting Tread the Globe. And uh, they had a little search through the van, uh, probably just to the uh, migration, immigration problems they've got in this region at the moment. And um, we bought the uh, vignette um, online. There are actually machines at the border that you can, you can buy your vignette. It's amazing, we've literally just driven over the mountain uh, through the border control and the weather is completely different. There's blue skies and the sun's trying to come out. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favourite song on I put my feet up As we're driving uh, through Bulgaria, we've noticed there's quite a lot of water signs by the side of the road. Um, so they're not short of water stations, uh, so you can fill up. Uh, we don't need any at the moment because we filled up in Greece, but uh, yeah, they're here. So we've just stopped to fill up with uh, some petrol and uh, yeah, it looks like it's, uh, it's 227 a litre, uh, which is probably just over a pound. So the price is much better than Greece. So it was a good call to wait and fill up from Bulgaria. You may have seen um, in an earlier video that we had um, doubts on whether our fuel gauge was working and uh, we've kept an eye on it we've put the uh, number of miles that it's traveled and just watched it and it seems to be working now so uh, so fingers fingers crossed that keeps working because that would be a, an absolute bloody nightmare if the uh, fuel gauge not working if i could stop the time don't you know that i would because i just love Driving through Bulgaria, it's just amazing how the landscape has changed and it's all gone green. It's so much greener than everywhere else we've driven. Um, and it's, it's almost feeling a bit like back home. I suppose it's springtime, isn't it? 
Yeah, maybe, maybe it is because things are just starting to go green naturally because of spring. But the uh, there's grass in the fields and things like that, and it's uh, yeah, it's looking very lush. Old school tram with the wires above. I haven't seen one of those for a very long time. Where are we going? Apparently this is a road. <laughs> I'm not... What do you reckon, love? We're about to find out. I'm not sure that this is really a road. We've come out. to the end of the road. That didn't quite work out as planned. Almost oh, it's a very nice view. It's a very nice view. Though there are houses right there. Turning round. We, th we think there's another way. We're trying to get down. There's a car park down by the seafront that we're looking at. If not, then uh, we're off on another jolly, but it's going to be dark soon. We're going to go down the coastline a little bit and see if After we can find somewhere yards, else. Turn left, then Turn around when possible. Yeah, that doesn't work sat enough. We know there's no road down there. We just parked up the van and just come for a little walk around just to uh, see if we can find a more level space. Marianne's the dog lady again. Marianne's the Dr. Doolittle. Aww. How many dogs you got now? Aww. I've got a pack of puppies. Pack of puppies. Come on in. It's very strange, it's like everything's been abandoned down here. It's like we've got our own bar. Maybe we could sit and have a bar, have a drink at the bar. Serve you, a beer. you can serve me a beer in the bar. Have a good old day. The, uh, the houses, the, the corner there is where we attempted to come down. So we have found the right way. So we have arrived at the Black Sea. Amazing. We're actually at the Black Sea. It's the first time we've seen, it's the first time I've ever been to the Black Sea. Well, there you go. And through the gap, if you keep going straight that way, you hit Georgia, which is the direction we're going to be going in over the next month. So Marianne's mental. She's just putting her feet in the water. It's freezing. You ain't going to be going swimming in there, love. So Marianne's gone to get Trudy and uh, we're just going to move her down a little bit on the grass here. And then we've got this beautiful view and a private bar. It's definitely seen better years down here, uh, but the view still remains like that. So we spent the night here last night, um, just south of Burgas, and uh, honestly, it is a really strange place. Last night, we uh, were looking around at the lights, and it's like there is a whole apartment complex behind us. And what's really weird is there wasn't one light on in any of the buildings. Um, some of the, the street lights, like these little lights along the beach were on, but there's no, I didn't see anybody there. You've just got all these abandoned bars um, down the beach. And we have seen like one kid on a bike and one car go past, but it's very strange. There is a little town opposite on the other side because there was fireworks um, late last night. 
it was a good night's sleep, very quiet here, but it's a lovely uh, little cove here, um, but just strange, like these, this bar, um, I don't know, we were thinking maybe it all comes back to life in the summer, because it is low season, um, like there's old jet skis on the other side, but it's just, it just looks so abandoned. You know, everything just looks abandoned. You know, the roof and the... Yeah, very strange. But how you can have such a complex here, there's got to be people living in it, but why aren't there any lights on? It's like really strange. At night, it's really dark. We're only spending uh, one more night tonight in uh, Bulgaria. I've spent the day making today's uh, video. Um, it would be great to spend more time in Bulgaria and I know uh, some of you guys have been sending us places to go and visit but we're concerned about the Turkish border closing um, due to the uh, refugee problems that they're having there. So um, we're going to head to uh, try and cross the Turkish border tomorrow um, and hope that we can get across before they end up closing it because if they close the border from Bulgaria um, like they have done with Greece we will have a bit of a problem trying to get east and into Russia um, so yeah so we're going to be up bright and early tomorrow morning and uh, try and do the crossing <laughs> morning we're driving <laughs> To Turkey! <laughs> Woohoo! Today is the day we go to Turkey. Yeah, baby. But <laughs> the van's trashed. The van's trashed. What? The van is trashed. We're trashed, but why is it trashed? It's because all day yesterday we worked, didn't we? We did. We made a video, and today we are off from Bulgaria oh. to Turkey. Yeah. And we're already about an hour and a half behind the time we said we were leaving. Yeah, but ugh, you can't rush it. Really. So, you can rush these things. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get up. I would like to say thank you to all the lovely messages I got from my um, newsletter and all the support we get. Because everybody's very worried that we're going from Bulgaria into Turkey because of all the problems in Greece-Turkey border. So I want to say thank you. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, thank you for being worried about us. Uh, we are going to tackle the Turkey border during a migration crisis yeah. and a uh, coronavirus crisis yeah. and everything else. So hopefully we should make it to Turkey in and the next few really, hours. And we feel really lucky and blessed that we have this opportunity to travel. We're oh, yeah, for sure. People that are really struggling right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. Right. Let's go. See you in a minute. <laughs> I'm just having a quick bite of breakfast, and Marianne's trying to find the printout of the Turkish visa. Yeah. Should be in the file somewhere. It's in the file somewhere. Because at the moment you need a visa to get into Turkey as a British citizen, but they are changing it. I was going to say that's changing. I think from next month. Or might be from this month, from March. Where, what month is it? Turkey. What month is it now? <laughs> I think it's March the... Oh, it's 10th of March. I, I was going to say the 8th or 9th. I don't even know what the date is. It's the 9th of March. 9th. Oh, there yeah. You there you go, Turkey. You got the visa? Uh, yes, I can see it on the back. So we're just getting ready. We're nearly ready to leave. Um, in fact, we're later than we thought because we've just realized that Turkey is another hour ahead of us so we're actually now three hours going to be three hours ahead of the uk i think we're ready yep we're yep. ready let's go to turkey let's go to turkey <laughs> i'm actually really excited we're changing time zones another one yeah i'm really excited that we're changing time zones um when you fly you expect to change time zones but when you're on a little jolly a little jolly <laughs> we're driving around the world on a little jolly you don't expect to change a little road zones. trip love in it road trip <laughs> we're just on a little road trip we're just going to turkey it's only a couple of hours I'm away so excited. Woo!
So the uh, border crossing is about an hour and 20 minutes away from where we are now. And fingers crossed it all goes um, well. If you're watching us for the first time, you, uh, we had to divert from Greece because um, the Greek-Turkey border had been closed um, because of all the um, refugees in Turkey um, that were getting into Europe and Turkey had opened the, their border with Europe. So uh, we heard that the uh, borders with uh, Turkey from Greece had all been closed. So we ended up driving six hours up through Bulgaria um, and we're gonna attempt to cross the border this morning. So fingers crossed, um, this border is still open and uh, it all goes according to plan. anything like me I haven't got a clue what she's talking about I grew up with a dad who is a mechanic and loves cars so I've just got naturally just got an interest in cars I, I love cars it's an old white car it's a Lada <laughs> how can you not know what the name do you know what a Lada is <laughs> how can you not know that who makes I've it I've never seen one but I've just who makes it Lada Lada <laughs> <laughs> how can you have never is that heard? the mate see that every day. In fact we were talking about all horses. We were talking about being anxious or worried about this travel and this adventure and I said to Chris, no, I actually feel really excited about the adventure. But we are only five minutes from the border and we haven't seen any officials or police or army or refugees actually. We've just actually seen uh, two officials in the woods here uh, in green uniforms. So there's obviously patrols going on that you can't see from the road. And we expected it to, this border crossing to be quite busy if they've closed Greece. But this road is literally dead. There's hardly any cars on it at all. And we've only got two minutes till the border. Turkey. Turkey, three miles. Kilometers. Kilometers. There you go, we're nearly there. So we're gonna uh, turn the cameras off now as uh, we approach the border. Okay, so after a bit of a long wait, we've managed to get our insurance, which is from the booth that you can see just there. Um, and now we are heading um, south uh, to a nearby town to find somewhere to sleep and get some data. So we are officially in Turkey, country number 30 for Tread the Globe which is uh, quite, it, it sounds quite mad to say we're actually in Turkey, but we are. And it's another time zone. There you I go. Amazing. That was definitely much easier than expected. And uh, the refugees and the problems with the borders going into Europe have not hit Bulgaria or this border yet. So the plan of getting here quite quickly has definitely worked. So good job. To Turkey we go. Join us on the next episode as we arrive in Turkey, visit the town of Kirklareli and arrive in the city of Istanbul. <laughs>